Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is in the playlist called Handling Data in SQL. And in this video, we will learn the different uses of the trunk function or truncate function as they are used on dates in SQL. Trunk is short for truncate. First, let me set the default date format. Because right now, if you query the value of this date or any date for that matter, it will be in this format. DD, mon, the first literal characters of the month and then the year in two digits. So it's not good enough for display purposes, if you will. So for the session, we will execute this command, alter session set NLS date format in this format, dd, mon, y, 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 and then the hour, minute, second, eight. Okay. I'll execute this so that when we execute the time, I mean the, the, the sys date query on the sys date, then it will now show the time element. Okay, so uh, earlier we were just seeing 22 May 24, but now we see the full details of the date, which consists of so also of the time element or the time value that is date time. We see that there is a time value in date because very seldom throughout the day that you would be exactly at 12 midnight. So there will usually be some minutes, seconds in the time uh, value of the current day. Now, the first one we're going to be, the first usage of the trunk function we're going to be uh, learning is truncating the time value. As you can see in this value here, there's a time element of 12.23.06 p.m. So the first trunk usage we will learn is removing the, the time element, okay, by using the trunk on the sys date trunk, parenthesis, and then this date inside or any date value that you want to truncate, like remove the time element. So if I execute this, you can see that it truncated the time into 12 midnight. Now, if you will say it's not good enough for me, uh, I don't want to see the 12 a.m. in there. So then again, you will have to execute the value, I mean the command, Alter session analyze date format, and then you can just remove this. You can just retain the date element of that. Okay, so that is done when we execute this. Now your date doesn't have the time element in it. Okay, okay, so this is the first usage of the trunk function on a date of, uh, that is to truncate or remove the time element from a date value. Okay. Now that we have done that, let's execute, uh, let's move on to the next example, which is this. Displaying the date, the first day of the week of the spe specified date, first day of the week, okay? So as you know, the first day of the week is a Sunday. So select trunk, sys date, or whatever date column you might, might wanna uh, uh, specify here, even a hard-coded one, you can do that. And then the format mask this time is day, and then you can give it an alias, again, from dual table or from any table that you can get it from. So this is 19 May. It's targeting the date you specified. So I specified this date. The day happens to be 22nd of May. So the first day of the week where this date belongs to is a Sunday, which is 19th of May, 2024. That's why we have this. That is because of the format mask day, okay? And with that, you can uh, play around with the other format masks which are related like dy. It doesn't matter because uh, it doesn't, okay, let's, it's because uh, you don't see the difference because May is a month which consists of three, Letters only. If you will use some other month, month of the date, then you will see the difference. Okay. Anyway, you have all those other options of change the format mask to date, D A Y, D Y, which is abbreviated, and also D. Okay. Anyway, so our next example is displaying the 
first day of the month. Displaying the first day of the month of the date you are specifying, okay? So it depends on the date you are specifying. So again, select trunk sys date. The date I'm specifying is sys date, system date, today's date, current date. But with the use of the trunk function, I'm also pairing that with a format mask of mm, which refers to the numeric value of month. So select trunk sys date mm, there's an alias here, and then from dual. But I wanted to display the first day of the month of this date. Okay, since today happens to be 22nd May, Obviously, the first day of the month is 1st May. So that's why you get this output. And that's accomplished by this kind of format mask with the trunk function trunk, the date value, and then the format mask mm. Again, you can play around with other variations of this, but uh, it doesn't create an effect here because May is a very short named month. It is three letters. Okay. Our next example is this one. display the first day of the current quarter of the specified day. Note that there are four quarters in a year and each of them starts with these dates. So the first quarter starts with 1st January, the second quarter starts with 1st April, the third starts with July, the first, the fourth quarter starts on the October the 1st, okay? So um, this example, using the trunk function again, will zoom in on the first day of the quarter relevant to the date you're specifying. Okay, since um, the date I'm specifying system date, which uh, like I said, today's date is 22nd May, then this command will target the first day of the quarter of that specific date. Okay. And it gives you first April which is the first date, first day or first date of the quarter to which this date belongs to, okay? Our last example is this. Displaying the first day of the year, okay? So again, using the trunk function on a date value. So that date value can be state can be a column with a date data type, or can be a hard-coded string value, which you're converting to a date from car. Okay, so select trunk, the date value here, and then the format mask, this time is YYYY, meaning the numeric values of the year in four digits. And then I'm giving an alias here, and then again from dual table. But it can be from any table to where you can get your hands on a date value that you want, from which you want to extract the first day of the year using the trunk function. Okay, let's execute this one. So what we get is 1st January 2024, which is the first day of the year specific or related to or pertaining to the date you specified. So this, the data specified is 22nd May 2024, but in this time, the trunk will zoom in on the year of that date. So the year of that date is 2024, and then it will next target the first day of that year, the first day of 2024, which is this, okay? So in this short video, not so short, not so long. We learned uh, five ways of using the trunk function on a date value in SQL, okay? On a day, on a week, on a month, on a quarter, and on a year. Okay, you can play around with the other variations, the other format masks. You can Google them. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.